Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I am coming at you with all of my makes from the month of August, late July and all of August. Um, I have been a busy little sewist, even though I haven't really posted any of those makes either on my social media or done any videos for them. But I have been busy. Um, I think the main reason why I haven't posted any of them is because they're kind of like catch-ups. So I was fully engaged in Sew My Style and then I completely fell off the wagon. <laughs> so but I decided that it's still a really good idea and it's a great way to build up a versatile wardrobe and so I wanted to stick with it. So I jumped back in um, and the first thing I made were the leggings, the Virginia leggings by Megan Nielsen. Um, not much to show really, they're just leggings. But um, the fabric came from Joanne, it's part of their performance line. And you know, it doesn't have a ton of stretch, but that, when you wear them, that makes everything feel like very sucked in. You know, if it were kind of like a looser, not a looser knit, you know, still it needs to be like a, a tighter weave knit, it can't be a sweater knit or anything like that. I mean, it could be, I guess, but either way, if it weren't, at, if it didn't have as much recovery and weren't as like tightly tight stretch, um, then you might just, I think I would feel a little bit uncomfortable. So when I went to Joanne, I was looking for like a Ponte, um, and this is the closest thing I can find. Um, my only concern with this fabric is because it is like a grunge type pattern, you know, where it's like a you know, it's got a pattern to it. It's gray and black, but it's still got a pattern to it. I don't know how wearable these are going to be. Are these going to be around the house? Or am I going to be able to throw on like a chunky black sweater and head out the door in them? I think it depends. I think I can wear my perforated leather vans, which are black, these leggings, like a black top, like a black tank top, some kind of cotton knit top and like a cocoon cardigan or something and that would be a cute complete outfit. I would totally wear that out. Um, I don't know that I would wear these with like black leather booties and try and make it like anything other than a casual outfit. But the pattern itself, I thought a couple things that were really interesting. One is there are no side seams, which at first I was like, these are never going to fit. Like I have so many fit issues with my sway back plus my full seat adjustment plus my athletic front thigh and all I've never gotten a great fit out of pants um and now these don't have side seams so I can't even make the usual adjustments that I would normally make but I decided to just throw caution to the wind and give it a go and they fit pretty good right out of the pattern um, right off, you know, without any adjustments at all. I probably will make a couple adjustments for the next pair, but not many. I think if anything, I will add some rise and maybe a bit more of a curve to the back curve. But other than that, like they're pretty good. So I got caught up with those. And um, then I moved on to the Oh shoot, what's this dress pattern? Bridge side, bridge port, bridge view, bridge something pattern. Um, it's the backless. Bridge side? Backless dress? Is that what it's called? Oh darn, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, but it's the one that has, obviously, it's backless. So I got this rayon, also from Joanne, same trip as when I got the knit. Um, this was on sale. I had loved this when I first saw it was not on sale and then it finally went on sale um they have a lot of these great rayons now gosh who was the designer Kathy something maybe I can't remember now oh I'll try and find all the information and put it in the description box for you guys here's how you access the description box really quickly if you don't know by now I guess eventually you guys will tell me like we know how to access the description box you don't need to keep showing us that thing but until I hear that from you guys I'm going to keep putting it up there just so you guys know where to find all the information that falls out of my head while I'm talking or I just 
legit can't remember um this dress is super cute so some things about this dress though and i'll talk more about this whenever i like have it on for real and do like my my usual video for um a pattern review but i size down like a lot like a lot i think my my measurements might have been 12 14 based on my measurements and it ended up making like a six like i sized down so much i just kept looking at people's pictures of this and kept thinking gosh that looks so big on them and then people were complaining that it was falling off their shoulders and i'm like yeah probably because it's so big um and i just kept thinking about it thinking about it and i was like you know there's really no sleeve it's completely backless there's nothing to hold there's not, no tightness going on around the bust area like really the only measurements that matter are your waist which are determined by the elastic which is basically adjustable and your hip measurement for the skirt so i just sized the bodice down like a ton anyways like i said i'll talk a lot more about that um in that video but i just wanted you guys to see it i mean it has to be the note about the fabric it's not so much that it has to be lightweight as it has to be drapey. Drape is more important than weight when it comes to this pattern, which is also something I kind of had to figure out on my own, um, just from looking at people's pictures. So I ch happened to chose, choose a lightweight and drapey fabric, but you could definitely choose a midweight drape, like um, what would be a good example? A tensel would be a good example of a midweight drapey fabric. Um, drape, drape, drape is important on this, but I just love it. Obviously I made the, um, stripes go in different directions. Can y'all even see the bottom of this? <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. What's next? Oh, so then I moved on to the pocket skirt and as you can see, it's a bit in shambles still. And that's because it didn't fit. Womp womp. I know. So disappointing. I don't know what went wrong with this. There's elastic in here, but the elastic doesn't even stretch out. So what's the point of the elastic? And it's too small. It's not too big. It's too small. So and there needs to be more fabric. So I did something wrong. I'm not sure. So what I think I'm going to do is unpick the skirt from the waistband and take out all the gathers and then rely on the elastic to size it in the waist rather than the waistband if it's well in the hips it's just when i zip it up i'm like suck it in and that's like no way to live um so i've got to make some adjustments but i did think that the which is even the right side this is the right side i did think that the fabric turned out really cute i posted on my social media you guys might have seen i was debating whether to do the pockets as horizontal vertical or on the bias and overwhelmingly everyone said bias I don't it wasn't that obvious to me but it was that obvious to you guys so I ended up doing them on the bias and I think they looked really cute um this fabric came from Metro Textiles in New York City in 2015 yep um so I doubt he still has any more of it but it's kind of like a tweed super loose so I had just searched everything from the very beginning. I just searched all the edges so I wouldn't have to worry about it. I mean, it was like falling apart when I was even moving it from the cutting table to the searcher. So I knew I'd never make it <laughs> any further than that. And I just didn't want to stretch anything out. Um, so we'll see. I have no more of it. So if I can't salvage this by taking out the waist gathers, then such is life. And you live and learn. One day I'll start measuring the waistbands <laughs> and making sure that they are going to fit. But so that's where we are. Really cute. Fingers crossed that I can get this one together. So with those three, I'm not, I'm still not caught up. So I've made those three plus the coat. Gosh, I'm not remembering any of the names. Let me pull it up. That's probably the best way. Okay. So in January was the toaster sweater. Made that at the Navy Cable Knit. Um, then it was the Saunio cardigan that I made from that black and white tweedish boucle-ish fabric. Virginia leggings I just made, Bridgetown dress I just made, pocket skirt I just made. So that takes me up to June. So I have the briar, which I think will be super simple. I already have a sweater knit that I know that I'm going to make it from. Um, I have the valley blouse by Callie Faye, which is again like a loose fit 
peasant type of blouse so that should be pretty easy although that's my hesitation with that one is I don't have a fabric I love I do have a Swiss dot which I think would be cute because for that one lightweight is really important um, and not necessarily drape um, but the Swiss dot is sheer so would I line it I don't want to want to line it you know so I'm torn I don't know what where that's gonna go um, and then August was the Darling Ranges dress by Megan Nielsen. Super cute dress. Have plenty of fabrics that would work for that because it's like a stable, woven, cotton, midweight, easy. Um, and since we're basically already in September, I have the named clothing Yona Wrap Coat. A coat! Um, so I do want to keep ticking away at this and hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be able to do a video like compilation mashup of all the ones that I've made. Um, so I am sticking, I just fell off the wagon. Okay. Like I fell off the wagon a little bit. Um, but I'm back on the wagon again and moving right along. So we'll see. Although fit issues certainly don't help. They add to the problem. Okay, um, one other, couple other things that I have made here recently. This is the Austin T um, by Blank Slate Patterns. And the fabric is from Elliot Bierman. It's a jersey, a rayon jersey, viscose. Oh, so dreamy. I thought the print looked a lot like anthropology or something like that. And that's what drew me to it. Um, I love this pattern. This pattern is going to get made again, so keep your eyes out. Um, it's just well thought out and very smart how she does the little tie. I have a whole video on this. I don't need to like go back into it again. I'll link in the description box below the link to watch my video on this pattern. Um, the video wasn't originally released on the channel. Um, it was released through her blog. And it has to stay that way for like 30 days or something. Um, so that window is passed. So I'll make that video live and link it down below so you all can see if you didn't see it on Blank Slates, on Mellisos.com, Blank Slates blog. Um, and then also I just wanted to remind you guys of this top that I made. Um, this was for Cali Fabrics. So this is a fabric I got from them. It's like a super lightweight, um, variegated stripe. Like, I don't think it's chambray, but it looks like it. Um, and it's a mashup of a, like three different patterns um, that I use to knock off a loft pattern. So I'm 99% sure that's live on the channel. If not, it will be by the time I get this posted. And I'll link this down below too so you can get all the details on the patterns that I use to make this and more info on the fabric. I hope that they still have it. I, have, I didn't really check. Um, anyway, so like I said, the past like month and a half, considering I had a move that went on and I've been redecorating and hanging wallpaper and if you saw my favorites video then you know I'm painting everything gold <laughs> so I've been busy doing all of those things plus my regular jobs and sewing so I think I've done pretty well I mean I gotta admit the sew my style patterns are like an afternoon you can knock those out they're super easy and straightforward um so yeah so that's what I've been sewing so stay tuned to see um the how I style the style my so my style like the Virginia leggings um I'll post the bridge side what did, what was the name of that I feel like I skimmed right over that and didn't even take note of what it was called Bridgetown dress the Bridgetown backless dress by so Hell seven anyway so I'll put a video up on that um here shortly I will try and salvage the skirt fingers crossed um, if not, I have some other fabric that I just got from Joanne, um, and I'll just make it bigger and make it the right way. And then the Metro fabric will just be a loss. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, and then I'll keep you guys posted on the rest of the Sew My Style projects. So that's what I've been up to. Let me know, um, maybe what the favorite thing that you've made this year. If you've got a blog post about it, link the blog post. If you've got a blog about it, link the blog. Instagram link, whatever you have, um, show off your favorite make from August. I want to see it and everybody else wants to see it too. So put it in the comments and we can all gush over how amazing all of our makes are. So, uh, but until next time, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.